Are you an OBS user who wants to add a circular overlay to your scenes? Maybe you're doing a demonstration or you're showing slides and you'd like to be able to have an overlay like this where you can still show yourself and the thing that you are sharing. Well, that is what we're going to show today. It is creating a circular camera in OBS. If you have ever been to my channel, you might think, huh, I believe she's done a video on this before. And it's true, I have. I created a video showing how you can apply a filter called an image mask to create a circular camera. In this video, I actually show how you apply that filter to the camera source. But in today's video, I'm gonna show an alternate and I would say preferred method of how you can apply the filter to an entire scene and bring that scene in as an overlay. This gives you more flexibility. For example, like right now, I have a wider view of my camera, but I also have a demonstration where I have the circular camera. So this is the preferred way and we are going to show you how. Before we get started, I do need to say that you will need an image for your image mask. So let's bring this over. This is the image I'll be using as my image mask, meaning it's going to mask part of the camera and only show what's in the center. What you will need for this is an image with a black background and a white shape. In this case, because I want a circle, I am using a white circle, but this could be a square or maybe a square with rounded edges. You can get creative, but you will need to have this. You can easily create this for free in say Canva, or you can even open PowerPoint or Keynote, create a black slide and add a white shape and export that slide as an image. Once you have that, you are ready to get started. In OBS right now, you can see I actually have three scenes. If we look in our scenes window, I have the main camera. Hi, duplicate. I have one with slides. We are going to add a circular camera to these slides in a little bit. And I have what I'm calling a setup scene, meaning this will be a scene that is for our circular camera. We're going to apply the filter to this scene which allows us to later bring in the scene as a source to other scenes. And if you're not following, you'll see in a moment. So let's set up this circular camera scene. The first thing we wanna do is add our camera source. So I go to the plus under our sources. I'm gonna add a video capture device and I already have my camera set up. So I'm going to choose that and it's gonna be wide. Ta-da, here's my room. <laughs> so we have this. Now, instead of applying, in the past, I showed how you add a filter to the camera, but we're not gonna do that. We are going to go over to the scenes and we are going to add a filter to the scene. So we have this filter here, uh, this window, we're going to add plus, and you are looking for the image mask, and you can call it whatever you want, I'll just accept this default. You are going to browse to pick out your circle mask. So mine's a circle mask, whatever you choose. And we're going to apply this. Now, the entire scene has an image mask. And just to avoid distraction, I'm going to turn off my circular picture in picture. So let's close this. The beauty of this is that I can now adjust my camera. So it doesn't actually matter the shape, the positioning, the size of your image mask, because I can actually move my camera around. I can resize, maybe if I want to be a little bit smaller, I can bring this in. I can resize myself to however I like, and then let's lock this source. So here we go, but let's, let's say we wanna add the circular camera here. What we can do is just add that scene. So we say add scene, and we want the circular camera, say okay, Let's reposition this. And maybe we want up in the top corner. This would be an example of how you do this, but maybe we want the border. The border is fun. So let's add another scene that is for having a circular camera with a border. So we will add a new scene and say circular cam border. There we go. So now we have a new scene. We are going to add in our circular camera. So we're gonna add the scene circular cam. So we've got our circular cam. Now we're going to add an image, which is the border. And we, the reason we don't add the border to the original is that any image on that scene is going to have the mask. So the border will actually be as part of the mask as well. 
So we're going to do this separately. So we will add a new image. We'll just say border. And I'm going to pick my circular border, which I have ready to go. Say, okay. And then let's drag this over. I'm going to estimate that looks, that looks right. So let's lock both of these. So now I have a scene with my camera and the border. And so I have two options. So if I go to my slides and say, I'm going to remove this one. Yes, I want to remove it. And instead I'll add the next scene, which is my circular cam with the border. And now I have this one, which I can then resize and reposition. So now I've got myself. You can put yourself wherever you want. Oh, it looks like that's actually, let's go back here. Looks like I need to resize this. <laughs> so this is, you can go and you can make changes to this scene. I'm gonna make it a little wider. And then when we go to the slides, I have now corrected it. So anything in that scene, you will see here. Maybe I wanna have myself in the top, the corner here, whatever you wanna do. I'm putting myself up here because of the direction that I look and I can lock this. And now I have a scene with my circular camera and this is an active slideshow. So I can actually change the slide and my circular camera can stay there. So that's how you do it. That is how you add a filter, the image mask filter to a scene. And you can then bring that scene in to other scenes as a camera overlay. This allows for maximum flexibility. It also allows you to do things like adding a border or having maybe a few different options of your camera so you can pick and choose which version you want to bring into your scene. And this can help you to create more professional and engaging online presentations.